welcome to Welcome Home. I'm Kyle Mandipat, and in this episode, we've got a very special holiday theme going on for you. I'll be chatting with my friend, Miss Alicia Callie from Cali Cafe. Some holiday shopping tips to keep you sane. And we're taking a look at some of the great rental properties available for you now. It's all coming at you right here on this episode of Welcome Home. After last year's amazing success with me and a turkey, I've decided maybe it's time to get back to the kitchen. We're trying something new this holiday season. Hop in everybody and welcome back to Welcome Home. Now it's the holiday season, which means the most important room of the house is definitely gonna be the kitchen. We're in the kitchen with the queen of the kitchen, Miss Alicia Cali from Cali Cafe and Cali Bakery. Girl, last year you took us on a holiday ride with that turkey. My hands never felt better. <laughs> the gloves are back on and this time around, what do you got for us? Today I would like to teach you how to do a simple roast. Okay. Um, you know, it's simple, but a lot of people say it tastes good, so I'm gonna leave that up to you. All right. Okay, so uh, when we do a roast, it's up to you if you can use pork or mm -hmm. you can use beef. Today we're gonna do a pork version, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how many people you're gonna feed. Uh, we got a really small portion. It's good enough to feed about maybe three, two four. Okay, yeah. maybe two <laughs> piles. So I like to make sure that the roast is uh, defrosted, okay. you know, you know, for you to put on your, your mixture. So it's very simple. You really just have to get your basic uh, ingredients, which is I like to use minced onion, mm -hmm. um, black pepper, garlic powder, onion, pe onion powder is very important, okay. and then a little bit of basil. Oh. So you just season it all over, rub it like you love it, like okay. the way you did with the turkey. You Remember go. the turkey? Mm -hmm. You just rub it all over, and then in the end, you put soy sauce on top. Mm -hmm. Right on top of your your um, your roast, okay, and then um, vinegar, vinegar to ah. to kind of even out the saltiness, the right? The is built right, in, right? Right, that's right. Um, so I cover it. I put the oven, depending on how big your roast is. So this is small. We'll put it at 400. Okay. Cover it. Put it in the oven for about I'd say an hour. Okay. Yes, depending on the make size sure, as right? well. Right. Because you're working with pork, you got to make sure it's right. cooked all the way through. Right. That's right. Uh, you can check it within an hour and then open it up and if it's not really that brown, take it out enough for it to brown and then you're good to go. You know, let it uh, slowly cook, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So we put that in the oven and then... Oh my gee, it's when done! It's cooked, How did you do that? That was so fast! Right? Okay, so today we have the beef roast. Oh wow! And then this is... The That's the pork. Roast. Okay, so we're gonna cut some up. Okay. What I like to do is every time you cover it, so I don't like to take up the foil. Okay. Unless necessary and you're in a Unless hurry. you're ready to go. Right. Okay. Um, because I like to use the the um, drippings from the roast. We put it into the pot and you thicken it up and it's good to go. You don't even have to season mm, it anymore. Because all the seasonings right. from the meat and from the extra right, spices. Right, right, right. So that's sense. a good gravy for you already, you know, because you already have all that flavorings in there. And what I do aside from the gravy, it's up to you, but it gives it a lot more flavor mm -hmm. to top your, your um, any kind of roast that you're doing with veggies. So these are the veggies of choice. So you just cut it anyway. For me. Oh, so, yeah. oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so you can just go ahead and okay. cut and make okay. some. I do. Tips. Go ahead. This meat is falling apart. Right. That's what she said. Right. <laughs> All right. We're gonna put this down here. So Kyle likes it thick. I do. So we have thick pieces. I'm one of those guys who puts a small piece on the plate but goes back nine million times. <laughs> okay. So this is that. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm obviously not making this very pretty because I'm not good at that. It's okay, just lay it all out like this. Okay, I'm more of a grabber. It is so moist, look at that. This is my style, I just, I'm a grabber. Okay, I hope you don't mind. My dad says I destroy this kind of stuff, and you know, I'm okay with that. On top. Ah, how classy. Make it look pretty. You know, something very simple. Mm -hmm. Maybe dress it up. Match your veggies. Very cool. Right. And then, like I said, you're dripping. So all you need to do is just thicken it up. When you thicken it up, mm -hmm. it becomes your green. Wow. So that's all of the yes, that's extra all. stuff. And you know, if, if you do end up drying out, mm -hmm. you see those little parts that you that fell apart. Yeah. Take those throw it into a pan. And boil, fry it up. With a little bit of water, add your sauces, all the seasonings that you put into mm -hmm. your, your pot roast, thicken it up, and then you have your gravy once again. Wow. Yeah. Okay, ready? Alright, With the gravy and all the the good stuff there, so right. I grab that bean. You ready? Mmm. Mmm. Dude, that's so warm. I love it. I've never tasted any gravy like that before, and that was just the... Right, yeah. It's really just in your dripping. Done. All right, Leash, we had that amazing roast. You said it yourself, pork or beef roast right. go great with rice or mashed potatoes. That's right. Now, I've had mashed potatoes before, and it is so much work to actually smash down those potatoes. That's right. But you've got a secret you want to share with us, right? Right. So I just wanted to share with you that of course, fresh is always the best, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of times, especially if you're the cook for Thanksgiving and you have to make for a lot of people, oh, yeah. right? So you have to think of a way like, gosh, what am I going to do? So I'm saying you can take a box of mashed potatoes and make it awesome. The only thing you need to do is not use water. Don't follow the box. Okay. You use your, you start with water just to get it boiling hot. Okay. Okay. And then you put your mashed potatoes, but you have to use milk. Milk. Butter. Okay. I put a little bit of parsley salt, and onion powder. Onion powder. Right. You mentioned earlier you That's love right. onion powder. That's right. There's a good flavoring in that not a lot of people seem to know about, but it seems to give, it depends on what dish you're using, just that kick. You know, awesome. That kick. That's, oh, so look just at tell that. me if you could, you know, taste that flavor That's in great there. consistency. Mmm. Right. Can you taste that? Does it taste There's like actually flavors right? in this. That's right. When I mix it in the, the bowl and you're not making myself in the right. box, you gotta put some extra stuff in there. Right. So obviously. You get ready for the gravy. That's the good part, right? Over there's, this wait, way. there's more. Right. There's gravy. That's right. <laughs> there you go, Kyle. Enjoy. That is mashed potatoes from heaven <laughs> done right. Again, Miss Alicia Kelly, you you're have welcome. undone yourself. Ready? Happy Thanksgiving. Mm. The mashed potatoes are done, the beautiful roast is in my stomach, and now it's dessert time. And sis, you are known for your desserts. Oh, thank you. What do we got here? So today we just put something very simple together. Um, you know, things don't have to be difficult, right? Mm -hmm. So, simple crust. Flour, butter, sugar, and a little bit of salt. Blend, make sure your butter is um, room temperature, blend it all together, put it in your pie crust, and mm -hmm. just... Uh, Cook it for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. It'll come out looking nice and crusty brown mm -hmm. like this. Very delicious because of the butter. You have to use real butter. Okay. For the filling, we have a pumpkin cheesecake filling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So what I did was I just took two cream cheese, some sugar, mm -hmm. and um, a little bit of vanilla. Okay. And then I put some Cool Whip. Uh -huh. Well, not really Cool Whip, but you could use Cool Whip. Um, any whipped topping would be good. Mm -hmm. Blended it together, and out came this nice and chilled. Wow. Put as much or as little as you'd like and then top it with your favorite with whipped topping. Okay. Be creative. Uh, you can do dots. Oh, 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 snizzy snap. Go. First time ever bucket list <laughs> check. All Whoa, right. look at me. Eat your heart off Food Network. <laughs> Boom. There you go. So you just have to kind of either okay. you can lift it up and bite it. Okay. Or you can just. Yeah, you know what? I think I like will. Yeah. I think I will lift this like bad that. boy up. I will put it in my hand like yeah. so, and I will bite it like a monster. Bite Ready? <laughs> there you go. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. I probably look like I fished a clown, but I'm okay <laughs> with that. Delicious. Very simple. Very right? simple. Very it was simple. so quick to do. Right. 
Once you have all of the flavors together, That's I right. think everything melts well, right? right? And you know, it doesn't have to be difficult. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it may look difficult, but it might be just as simple as thing. It's just really putting the correct ingredients together. Very, very cool. And thank you so much, Lisa, for Welcome. helping us out today. You've obviously saved the holiday for us. Thank you, brother. Thank and I'm going to save this for later. Well, Again, if you've got any questions about this, check out our website. Check out our app, PNC. Of course, we've got the app for the showtimes. And come on by and check out Miss Alicia Kelly here at Cali Cafe and Cali Bakery up in Chalam Pago. Have a great day, Guam. When we come back, we've got your holiday shopping tips to get you navigating through those store aisles like a pro. It's all coming up right here on Welcome Home. We've got your holiday shopping tips to get you navigating through those store aisles like a pro. Welcome back to Welcome Home. After the turkey and the ham leftovers are in the fridge and Thanksgiving 2017 has officially ended, it's now time for us to enter, dare I say it so early, the Christmas season. A huge part of this season includes shopping for presents for those special people in your life. Most of us like to take advantage of the Black Friday deals every now and then here on Guam, while others like to shop online for those Cyber Monday deals too. In this part of the show, I'll be sharing some tips I've found on how to make this hectic shopping season go a little bit smoother. First, have a list. Just like Santa does, you can't have a successful Christmas shopping trip without a list of people and things you want to get them. When you get that list, be sure to prioritize it. Create a must-find list at the top so you can find and focus on those items like Tickle Me Elmo or Extra Strength Pomade for your grandpa's hair. As you visit each store, you can go straight to that aisle or department to make sure your gramps isn't crying on Christmas morning. Also, remember to have a backup plan. List two gift items near your loved one's names, just in case someone faster and more agile than you gets to the aisle first and buys it all. Another tip, kids, you got them, they can be a distraction. So if you can leave the young ones at home, do it. Besides, you don't wanna have to lie to them when they ask you who all that stuff is for. They're gonna think you love the neighbor's kids more than them my life. Another tip I have to offer is download Amazon or Walmart on your mobile device. Get the apps as local retailers may price match. Using those online giants if they ship the item to Guam can save you big bucks. But make sure you ask a store clerk before Black Friday if they're gonna honor price matching on that day. If not, guess what? Come back the next day. Price match then. And some final tips for Black Friday shopping, plan and follow your budget. Also, remember not everything on Black Friday is a good deal. Often retailers don't have to offer their lowest prices until you get closer and closer to Christmas Day. They do this to go after people like me who do all my Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. Now let's move on to online shopping or Cyber Monday. For those of you who aren't already in the know, Cyber Monday is an event that was created by marketing geniuses to help persuade us to shop online. It falls on the Monday after Black Friday. Here's some online shopping tips. First and foremost, shop on familiar websites like Amazon and Target and other American retail giants. Avoid taking a chance shopping on international sites, especially if the deals look too good to be true. You're gonna order a 99 cent iPad and get a mouse pad with an eyeball on it. Next up, look for the lock. Never, ever, ever buy anything online using your credit card from a site that doesn't have a secure sockets layer or SSL encryption installed. You'll know about this by seeing the padlock symbol by the web address and you can check out all the web addresses to make sure they got it. Also, if it doesn't start with an HTTPS, then don't trust it. Another handy tip I got for shopping online, be sure you note the estimated delivery date of the item. Keep in mind how far away we are from the normal states and remember that shipping takes two to three weeks, especially if it goes through Richmond, California. It'll be stuck there forever. Make sure you shop early so that all your gifts are here on time. Those are just some tips to make your holiday shopping trips a bit easier as you head to the stores or to the computer this holiday season. I hope you find these tips useful and remember the biggest tip of all, don't forget to buy me something. Stay tuned, we have your house tour. It's coming up next with Remax Realty Group right here on Welcome Home. Up next here on Welcome Home, we're gonna take a look at some amazing homes that are out there just for you. Our house tour is coming up next. Up and everybody and welcome back to Welcome Home. I'm standing by now with the man, Mr. Chris, and we are here with Remax Realty Group. Now, Chris, we've been talking about rental units for the past two episodes, and today you've got a plethora of great units to show us, right? Yes, have one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom units all within local rates and 
in good condition and ready to go, ready to be occupied. I can't wait. Let's check out our first unit here. Where are we at? Right now, we're in Aganya. We're in a one bedroom, one bath, right behind the district court. Wow, location, location, location. Location. You can hear the beach. Let's take a look inside, yeah? Let's go. Wow, very, very cool. Now we're on the second floor, and that's the first thing I'm gonna say I noticed. Mm -hmm. Normally, when I go to second floor units, it's a lot warmer, but I'm yeah. feeling up here, there's still a good temperature, and it finds us in this, the coolest room of the house, I'm sure. The yes. living room and the dining room. Correct. Awesome, so I noticed we've got great tile work on the floor, it'll be easy to keep clean, and the best part is all of the connections are already here, yeah? Yeah, it's everything a one bedroom should be. There you go, I love it. Living room opens up the house, we move on in to the kitchen. Like you mentioned, it's a one bedroom, so it's got a lot of space for maybe a new family or maybe a new couple that's married or whatever the case may be. We've got everything you need here, all included, even though the space is kind of smaller than a you know, bigger, bigger house, right? Correct, correct. Very you, nice. you have the refrigerator, the stove, the aircon. There you go. Uh, washer dryer connection and a water heater. Pretty much everything you need if you were in a house. Most definitely. And the thing I like about this little layout here is everything is so open. The conversation continues while yes. we're taking business in the living room and uh, here in the kitchen too. Correct. Let's check out the bathroom. All right, so I'm looking at the bathroom now, Chris. It's pretty big. I didn't yeah. I think it would be this big to start with. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, you're right. It is a big bed, uh, bathroom for the one bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has tiles, it's clean, it's got a new sink and new vanity. And yeah, it's a nice bathroom. Most definitely. There's a lot of extra room there too yes. for you to put your extra shelves for your makeup ladies, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. Very cool. All right, and this is the bedroom right here. It's a yeah. one bedroom unit. Very, I feel like it's a nice spacious room for a unit like this, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. You could definitely fit a queen in here with a, have a lot of room still. Mm -hmm. You know, you still have your ceramic tiles on the floor and it's still clean. Definitely, and you have a giant closet. Giant closet. Double layers, you can stick stuff up there, you can stick stuff on the bottom too. Very, very cool. Great unit in bedroom, yes. yeah? Yes, not bad for a 625. And that's gonna be for this first house. We have seen it all, and I'm telling you, on top of the magnificent location here in Agatnia, I see everything that anyone would possibly need to True. make life happen for you, huh? Yeah, I agree. Very nice, and that, like I said, is gonna do it for house number one. Mm -hmm. We're moving on now, where are we going? Next, we're going to build the SC and Momoto to my team. Ooh, I love MTM, classic. Yes. Let's check it out. Let's go. All right, Chris, today we're continuing with our journey, a look at rental properties. Where are we at now? We're in Momong Totumaiti. We're in a two bedroom, two bath at a thousand square feet. I love it. Momong Totumaiti, right in the middle of everything. Let's take a look inside. Oh, wow. This yeah. is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yes, it's a thousand square feet, two bedroom, two bath. You know, second floor, high ceiling, lots of room for your, your, your living, your dining, your kitchen. You even have a laundry room. There is so much space here, Chris. I'm telling you, you can fit more than one couch in here. Mm -hmm. Moving on into this area again. The thing I love about these kinds of these domiciles are the uh, open floor plan. You know what I mean? Yes. When you're having a conversation, you don't have to stop and walk into the next room. Obviously, you've got plenty of room to take care of business mm -hmm. in this opening space. I love it. And back there, that's the kitchen? That's the kitchen. Let's check it out. Let's go. Wow, so this is the kitchen, huh? Yeah. Very cool, a lot of open space for you to take care of business in here. A lot of counter room for you to be uh, making all your food and cutting everything up. Very true. And the best part is, like I said, I love storage. You've got tons and tons of cabinetry here. Right over here, we've got this pantry as well. And it looks like we've got cabinets underneath the sink too, yeah? Yeah, I usually classify my kitchens by how many people you can fit in there. All right. And for a two bedroom, two bath uh, apartment, you could fit Four, three, four people in here. There so it's a go. good sized kitchen. A lot of room to make it happen. At the same time, it's cornered off so that nobody comes and touches your food before you don't cook it. Correct. Very cool. Yeah. All right. So this is the first bedroom of the house. And the first thing I'm noticing is there's no split AC units. This is all central air, right? This is all central air. Correct. Very cool. Everybody will be nice and regulated. I see some cool stuff going on here as well with the closet. We've got built-in shelves, mm -hmm. built-in uh, drawers, and then you have a desk over there. Correct. And you have mirror doors. Wow. Both sides. Bonus. Very cool for a first bedroom. Let's check out the other one. Oh, wow. So this is a bigger bedroom, Chris. This is bedroom number two. This must be the master bedroom. Correct. This is the master bedroom. Very nice closet space. Again, we yes. see the stand-up full mirrors. A Van vanity set up here so that the ladies can do their makeup. And like I said earlier, digging all of this storage space, yeah, too. Lots of storage space. Big space, big room, a great master bedroom. And I see we've got a bathroom, too. 
Very nice. I like it. Good walls there. Nice tiles everywhere. What else do we have in here? Yep, marble tile all the way up. You got a shower. You have a big vanity and lots of mirrors. Very cool. I love having mirrors. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see all this in action. Awesome. So we're here in the main hallway now, and obviously that is the main restroom for the entire house. It's pretty swag in there. I'm telling you, Chris, is that a stand-up shower I see? Yes, a stand-up shower with brass frame and marble tiles all the way up. Very nice, very classy. Yeah, That's the way I like classy. to use the bathroom. All right, so this is gonna wrap up house number two. A little mm -hmm. bigger than the first one, obviously. Yes. More square footage here. Great amenities and great location. I'm finding that a lot of people who are probably looking for rentals are looking for them because they want them closer to work, closer to all that good stuff. And I feel like this unit delivers for sure. Oh yes, for sure. Usually when you when you want a rental, you're looking for, to pay for privacy and your own space. Very, very nice. And we are looking at more spaces. Up next, where are we headed? Next, we're going to a three bedroom, two bath house in Barragata. Is more private than that. Let's if house number one and house number two were knockouts, get ready because house number three is right around the corner. Welcome Home continues after this. All right, Chris, we continue along now and we have blown on in with the winds here into Barragata. Tell me a little bit about this house. This house is a three bedroom, one and a half bath house. It's about 1,500 square feet. Asking price is 1700 and we're right in the middle of Barragata. I love it. There's plenty of open space around here. The backyard is huge. Let's take a look at inside, yeah? All right, Chris, we walk into the front door. Obviously, everything's been newly painted. I can smell it. It smells mm -hmm. great in here. Tell me where we're at. We're in the living room, just the living room. I have big space. You have uh, Fujitsu Aircon, which is top of the line Japanese split AC and, cool. and lots of space in here. And I think the biggest thing, like you mentioned, is it's just the living room. Just We're not having room. this with the dining or anything no. like that, huh? Yeah. Very nice. A lot of open space, a lot of great windows, a lot of great blinds, so you want to keep your privacy. And I'm assuming if this is just the living room, that's just the dining room. That's just the dining room. Let's go. All right, before we get to the dining, let's get in here. Now, this is it. This is the kitchen, huh? This is the kitchen. Very yeah. nice. We've got tons of storage space. Stuff right here to help separate the dining and the kitchen. Appliances are included too, I assume. Yes, refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, and split ACs and window ACs. Very nice. You know, one of the things that I love about homes when we take a look at them mm -hmm. are the little things that give each house a different identity. And I think this piece right behind us here, this yes. extra set of storage and, and whatever you would call this desk or counter space, counter space really does go a yeah. long way in making this kind of like a one of a kind find, huh? Very true. All right, so that's your kitchen. Back over here, let's shift over to the dining area. Wow, I like this light up here. It's perfect. Put the table yes. right in the middle. You'll be able to see what you're eating. Mm -hmm. And you have and a dining, I mean, a sliding glass door right out to the backyard. Very nice. And you've got a little patio deck there. Yes. So you could actually put uh, maybe patio, patio furniture, furniture or barbecue pit. Very cool. I love it. It's very complete feeling yeah. with this hall. All right, straight off of the hallway and into bedroom number one. This is a pretty good size bedroom, Chris. Oh yes, pretty good size. You can fit a queen, a couple dressers. There you you already have a closet. Tons of closet space, as you can see, uh, storage on top as well. And I like this, what's your right here? Ah, you've got shelving built into the closet as well. All right, yeah. Very cool. All right, now first we're in bedroom number two. I love a lot of the same stuff that we loved in the last room, except for this one I can hear blaring more. So are there fire alarms in every room? Oh yeah, it's supposed to be fire yeah. smoke detectors in every room. I love it. All right, now this one is definitely noticeably bigger than the last two. This is yes. the PR Master. This is the Master. Very nice. Again, same closets, shelves. I love it. Up, storage up, up in the top. Very nice. And I'm assuming through these windows you can see the backyard in its entirety, huh? Oh yes. Very cool. Uh, oh, is this a bathroom? Oh, right, wow, that's a shower in there. And it looks yep. like they've got glass doors. You don't have to worry about buying a curtain, huh? Yeah, it's a tub with doors. Very nice. We've got great mirrors everywhere, very clean lines and tile work. That makes everything just come together in here. Yeah, very super nice. clean. All right, Chris, that's going to do it for our last property on this house tour and the last home uh, for Welcome Home in this episode. Now, I got to ask, the big thing with renting is a lot of people use it as an opportunity, I guess, to get used to the billing and preparing their finances. Do you suggest renting a home before you buy it? Yes, I actually do. Uh, that's exactly what you were saying. You get your, your bills in order, you get used to the regular rental payment when it was with you eventually transitioning into a mortgage. Ah, there you go. Yeah. So it gets you into the swing of things, everything's prepared so that when you do have a mortgage payment, you've got everything worked out already. Yes, already. Amazing. Now, if we have any questions, Chris, about this home or how to get into any homes, how yes. can we get a hold of you? 
Call my office at 647-3725 Remax Realty Group. Boom, this episode of Welcome Home is in the bucket. We're gonna prepare for our next one right here on Fox 6 and ABC 7. On behalf of everyone here, thank you so much, my brother, for thank coming you. down. Thank you, thank you. And again, check him out if you're looking for anything. This man will put you and your family in a home like that. Until next episode, welcome home. See you. We'll see you next time.